What should I pick? Is it this one? No. This one? No. This? Ah, maybe this. Hey guys, we are back again with another video checking out some brand new True Wireless Buds to see how they match up against the likes, of course, of the AirPods Pro and the Galaxy Buds Pro. Now, we do have two new Buds to check out. We have the Power & Wilkins uh, PI5 as well as the brand new Amazon Echo Buds second generation. Now, these are really awesome and I'll start off with things that they all have in common. They all have wireless charging built into the cases, which is great, and that's fantastic to see. So whether you're using the, uh, the AirPods Pro, the BioWikens PI5, the Galaxy Buds Pro, or the Amazon Echo Buds second gen, all wireless charging within the case. Now, they also all have a form of quick charging, be it 10 or 15 minutes to give you two hours or four hours or more, with the Apple AirPods Pro having the least amount of time, but you all have that in general. First off, of course, is just build and design. Now, let's start off with the AirPods Pro, which of course we've known for a while. It's got this nice, solid, slick case. You do have a long stem for the build of the AirPods Pro, and you can change the air tips if you want. I do have comply form on mine, which is nice. Uh, and cool thing about the case, it doesn't drop. So that is actually pretty cool. Next up is the Galaxy Buds Pro. Galaxy Buds Pro have a very unique, different look to it. Uh, it's one that it's, it's still debatable uh, in terms of fit, uh, but it is nice looking, comes in various colors. We do have the purple one. And with the case, does it drop? No, it doesn't drop as well. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. Now, the uh, BioWikens uh, PI5 here have this very light case. It's really light, feels really comfortable, a little bit larger than the other two. Uh, also, uh, design-wise, it's a bit bigger, has a different design look to it, but it's still a nice looking pair of earbuds. Doesn't drop out of the case. So everybody kind of has that feature, which is absolutely great. And finally, the Amazon Echo Buds uh, second generation. Really nice small form factor case. I do like this case quite a bit. The design also is really nice. It fits comfortable. It's got multiple tips that you can switch with, which is nice. And the case itself also, let me try that out, doesn't drop. So that is pretty cool on that factor. Now, in terms of design, I think they're all unique and different, but I lean closer actually to the Echo Buds second generation and even the AirPods Pro. Uh, the Galaxy Buds Pro, it's a bit funky and the BioWilkins can be bigger for some people. Now, next off is of course a very key category, which is active noise cancellation, which all of these uh, AirBuds actually have. So we start off with the Amazon um, Echo Buds second generation. It does have active noise cancellation and you will find it within the software or you can tap on the earbuds to actually activate them. They, in terms of functionality, they are good. They're not great or fantastic, but they do a good job in canceling all the background noise. Uh, one of the best benefits is though, it does have a really good seal, so that adds to the uh, noise cancellation overall. Solid performance for it. And again, the price point, you really can't uh, blame what you have there. Now, the BioWikens uh, PI5 also has active noise cancellation. In terms of functionality, I would say it's probably the least of the pack. The seal is good, so that does help, but it doesn't give you that really full, rich active noise cancellation you expect. So that's something that was a bit bummed out from it for this, especially for its price point. Now onto the last two, which of course you're thinking these are the two big boys with active noise cancellation. We'll go with the Galaxy Buds Pro, which I still think has the best active noise cancellation if you have the right fit. And that's where the problem is, is with the Galaxy Buds Pro is that the fit is very weird. I mean, normally I do like a, a regular, AKA medium and a large in my ears. I have to do like a small and an XL. So the fit is just so weird and a lot of people can't get the right fit, which kind of takes it back. But the active noise, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, but the active noise cancellation is solid on this uh, altogether. Now, 
the AirPods Pro, I think, have the best noise cancellation here of all three. And especially if you go with a comply foam tip, that is actually really cool. Gives you more insulation on there and the noise cancellation does a fantastic job. So in this round, the AirPods Pro take the active noise cancellation price. Okay, let us move to audio and sound quality. This is something that I care about the most when I use a pair of headphones through wireless buds all together. So we start off with the Amazon uh, Echo Buds second generation. These are very interesting because they retail for about $120 comes white or black. And I've got to say, it's really impressive what you get from this. Amazon has done a really good job, plus the software built into the Alexa app itself uh, does a really good job where you can, of course, change your EQs, but the sound signature is very, very clean. That's what I like about it. It's got some nice highs, the mids are clean, uh, the lows are also clean as well. Uh, they're also rich, but not too rich. Very, very impressive with this. Now, the Galaxy Buds Pro. This also comes down to fit again. If you get the right fit, you're gonna get a really nice sound signature. The lows really come out well. The mids are a little bit tighter and the highs are very clear. So that is actually good. And of course, you've got uh, some EQ presets in the app to actually select from. So that goes a long way and I like it. Now. The AirPods Pro have a very nice clean sound and I like the updates that Apple has done to them in the sense that now it feels really clean and clear. It's probably the clearest of all these earbuds here. Very clean sound. I mean, you're going to enjoy the clean sound and it's gonna come out, every track you listen to sounds very clean and dare I say like white polished. Up. I'm not trying to just call out the case here, but it just kind of feels that way with the sound. It's a good thing. It doesn't have a lot of lows. So if you're looking for that, you're not gonna pick it up. And then finally, the Bion Wilkins PI5. This is where I think this really shines. Its um, sound signature is really, really good. It's warm, it's robust. You've got highs that really peak out well. The lows come out clean. The mids are a bit tight, even for me, but it really registers when you go from track to track to track. And I think this is where it truly shines, where you get that feel from the artist that you're trying to hit a certain note, the songs feel a certain way. So for me, in terms of audio quality, I would give the top dog to the Bow Wilkins PI5. Now, microphone quality, that's another thing that's really important. We know the AirPods Pro do a really good job and have been solid. The Galaxy Buds Pro also have been really good for microphone quality, but I also have to say, Amazon and Bow Wilkins have come in with a solid and respectable job altogether. I think when you're using the microphone with any of these, all the conversations I've had with friends and talking to clients, doesn't matter. People think it's loud and clear and crisp, and that is a good sign for true wireless buds. All right, so now we come to uh, battery life, and I have to say this is where it is very interesting. They all have different measurements for battery life times. For the Amazon Echo Bud second generation, you have 15 hours of battery life. Uh, for the PI5s, you've got about uh, 24 hours of battery life. Uh, for the uh, AirPods Pro, 24. And for the Galaxy Buds, you can go up to 28. So in terms of battery life, I would say the lowest is the Echo Buds, uh, second generation at 15 hours or even slightly less, you definitely need to charge it. That's just something that I'm a bit bummed out about that one, followed by the AirPods Pro. But AirPods Pro really gives you that solid 24 hours. While the uh, BioWinkins there, if your ANC is on, it's a little bit less, then you can extend a bit more. And I think the Galaxy Buds Pro take the top uh, spot here. ANC on is about 16 to 18 hours, ANC off, you're getting closer to 28, and that's where you have pretty long battery life with it. So battery life selection, that aspect is really cool. Now, finally, before I wrap this up, I really wanna quickly talk about software, because I think that's something that uh, is very key with True Wireless Buds now. So with the AirPods Pro, there really isn't any, anything. Uh, you can go into your uh, volume settings and you can toggle between transparency mode, which is really great, and toggle on and off, and that's pretty much it. Uh, while when you go to other devices like, say, the BioWorkings PI5, you, you do have an app, which I consider kind of useless at this point because it doesn't do much other than you need the app to basically pair the headset 
which is a bit of a bummer because it does pair, but the app is still needed for whatever reason. App functionality is limited, uh, but again, it's something that can be improved. Uh, now with the Galaxy Buds Pro, you do have a very robust app that allows you to do transparency. It's got all the, all the extra features like, you know, uh, speak to talk where you start talking, your music stops. Great stuff in the application. I think one of the best music apps available for True Wireless Buds out there. And finally, the Echo Buds. Amazon has also done a really good job using the Alexa app as your main app, where of course you've got the functionality for changing your EQs and all that fun stuff. But because you have Alexa built into this specifically, uh, you can have your Alexa commands by just basically speaking while you have the earbuds on. So especially if you're going to the gym, you can say Alexa start workout and it starts your workout and starts measuring your stats right there, which is fantastic. I think honestly, it's a great feature. And as long as you're not like me and don't forget to tell Alexa, Alexa to stop your workouts because then it looks like you worked out for like three hours, which I do not do at all. Daniel does though. Anyway, that is it for the True Wireless Buds. Now you're probably gonna ask me, which do I think is the best right now? And I have to say though, it's a little bit of a mixed bag here. They are all great and they all have different features left and right. I think if you're an Apple ecosystem, this definitely makes sense no matter how you look at it. Um, if you've got a Galaxy device, the Galaxy Buds Pro are a really solid pick, even for any Android device, but the fit is gonna be very difficult for a lot of people. My favorite earbuds right now are the Amazon Echo Buds. Uh, I think the second generation here, they do a really good job at capturing everything you want at a price point that is so much cheaper. Now, let's not forget the Bowerkins PI5. Honestly, this gives me just great sound signature. And if that's what you're looking for, uh, I think you're gonna find some really great audio altogether from this, especially built in, you know, it's got Aptex support, Aptex HD, uh, all that fun stuff, giving you some really supreme sound altogether. So there you have it guys, whichever you want to pick, I think you will find one that works for you. Definitely use the link down below to pick them out. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and check out our next video on the channel. Enjoy your entertainment.